Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on Marfan's syndrome. Marfan's syndrome is an autosomal dominant disorder where there is reduced extracellular microfibril formation. It is a genetic condition that affects the connective tissue, which provides support for the body and organs. Although it is an inherited disorder, around 25% of the cases have no family history. And Patients with Marfan syndrome are often very tall and have loose joints. So the major criteria of Marfan syndrome are lens dislocation, also known as ectopia lentis. I will show the picture later on. Aortic dissection or dilatation, dura ectasia, or skeletal features such as arachnodactyly, the arm pain is more than the height, pectus deformities, scoliosis or pes planus. So this is a picture showing the ectopia lentis, where there is dislocation of the lens. And the second picture shows arachnodactyly, where there are long spidery fingers. This picture shows pectus deformity, where there is pectus excavatum in Marfan's syndrome. And also pes planus, where there is a flattened foot arch. Besides the major criteria, there are also minor signs such as mitral valve prolapse, high arch palate, and also joint hypermobility. The diagnosis is clinical, and it is diagnostic if there are more than two major criteria. So some of the physical examination signs that we can look out for are the Steinberg sign, where we ask the patient to fold their thumb into the closed fist. And if we can see the thumb tip extending from the palm of the hand, which is shown in this picture here, this standard sign is considered positive. The second sign is Walker Murdoch sign, where we ask them to grip their wrist with their opposite hand. If the thumb and the fifth finger of the right hand, for example, overlap with each other, this represents a positive Walker Murdoch sign. So these are two signs which can be elicited in Marfan syndrome. So like I said, it is a clinical diagnosis and we can also do MRI of the brain and spine and also look for dural ectasia. So management for Marfan syndrome, the main danger that we are afraid of is aortic dissection. So beta blockers can be given to slow down the dilatation of the aortic root. Annual echocardiogram can be given. And also, if the aortic diameter is more than 5 cm, can suggest the patient to go for surgical repair, since there is a high risk of aortic rupture. That's all for this video. Thank you.